In this Jumpstart video, I'll go over customizing your header and footer areas on your website. When you've logged into the Website Builder, you'll notice that there's a header section at the top, the body section of each web page, and a footer section at the bottom. Note that the header and footer sections will be the same across your entire website. This means that any change you make in the header or footer section will apply to every single page on your website. On the other hand, all of the changes made in the body sections will only apply to each web page that you're working on. You could simply scroll up and down to edit your page sections, or on the left, if you go into a page, I'll click Manage Pages, you can click Edit Page Sections, and you can use these links to quickly go to the header or the footer of your website design. We'll start by updating the header on my website. So I'll start out by editing the company name. And you can also upload and add your own logo by turning on this toggle and then uploading and changing the image here but I don't have a logo yet, so I'm just gonna toggle that off. You can customize the text and the link for the call to action button that appears right at the top. For example, I'll just change the text to learn more and then have it linked to my FAQ page. So I'm choosing to link it to a page and then I'll click under site page, FAQs, and then I'll click save. Next, you can choose to edit the social media links that bring traffic to your social media accounts. Just click Edit right beside the icons, and you can add your social media accounts here. I'll just remove the Instagram one, and then I'll add the URL for my Facebook page. So I'll just save that change. And you can also add more social media links and add your accounts. For example, I can click YouTube and just put in the URL for your YouTube account here. Here you can choose whether or not you want your header to be fixed, which means it will stay visible at the top of the web page even when visitors scroll down. I'm just going to toggle that off so that the header will scroll with the page. And I'm also going to change the color of my header section. So now I'm done with all the changes for my header and I'm going to scroll down to the footer. And I'll just click that. So you can edit the footer the exact same way that I've just made customizations to the header. And I'll just quickly change some of the contact information. So for example, I might not want to show the address for my company, so I'll just toggle that right off. I'll change the phone number right here and I'll leave the email as is. I'll also write a quick copyright message for my website. So now I'm done with the changes for my footer. When you're ready to take your website online, don't forget you can just click publish in the top right hand corner. Thanks for watching.